hello YouTube um the setting and lighting may look a little different um and actually I kind of like this I don't know it's just like different you know nice area nice ambiance to it but actually I didn't choose this area by choice my roommate came into the room while I was trying to record the video so um I had to switch locations but this video I don't you know make this joyfully you know I'm not like excited to expose people I you know before I made videos about Jay-Z or whatever but um I was just like frustrated and actually this person frustrates me more than Jay-Z ever has um because Jay-Z makes it clear who he is and you know I mean he might say little comments or whatever and try to be sarcastic but it's obvious what he is and there's nothing I can do about it. Um, God will have to correct that. But um, this person right here, it's just like they don't see it. And like they are so close, so close to having it right. But just a few pieces they're missing. And it's like it's critical because they are turning people away. I mean, the people who still cling on um, are probably already Klingons by nature. Um, but the people who have come to see him for his ways just have written him off as a lunatic. And I don't think he's a lunatic. I just think that he needs to take a step back, reevaluate his approach, and, you know, um, only come back when he has corrected the error in his ways. And the person I'm talking about is Ringo for Life. I'm just sick of it. Like, I'm so sick of seeing the foolishness, the rude comments, the expose videos, you know, trying to target people who have come out and made public statements against you. Um, and I'm not a quarrelsome person. Like, I will, if, if you... Sorry, if you attack me, I'm not going to keep my mouth shut. I'm not going to back down, but I'm not going to come at you, you know, trying to create conflict. I don't care that much unless you really, you know, just have it wrong. And I feel bad if I don't say anything. I'm not going to you know, waste my time speaking to you. Um, so I'm thoroughly concerned. That's where this is coming from. I'm thoroughly concerned. And I really hope that you, you know, come to see the error of your ways because it's messing you up. And before you know it, it's all going to crumble and fall down. And I don't want to see that happen. So this is me, you know, this is an intervention of sorts. Please, please stop um, addressing people the way that you address them. Please stop taking scriptures out of context to support why you address people that way. Because that's not scriptural. And please stop using emotionalism and theatrics to um, get a rise out of people versus convict them um, in a godly manner. And the scripture references that I have um, just point out my what I'm trying to say. And it's funny because um, on the description box of your channel, you have um, scriptures from some of these books. But I guess you didn't see these parts. And so, yep. Here we go. The first one is James chapter 3, verses 17 to 18, and it states, But the wisdom from above is first pure, then peaceable, gentle, open to reason, full of mercy and good fruits, impartial and sincere. And a harvest of righteousness is sown in peace by those who make peace. The next one is um, 2 Timothy chapter 2, verses 22 uh, through 26, and it states, so flee youthful passions and pursue righteousness, faith, love, and peace, along with those who call on the Lord from a pure heart. 
have nothing to do with foolish, ignorant controversies. You know that they breed quarrels, and the Lord's servant must not be quarrelsome, but kind to everyone, able to teach, patiently enduring evil, um, correcting his opponents with gentleness. Um, God may perhaps grant them repentance, leading to a knowledge of the truth, and they may come to their senses and escape from the snare of the devil after being captured by him to do his will. Um, and that actually is reminiscent of something that I said um, in a message that I wrote that was never responded to. Um, I wrote it more than a month ago, and I'll read that at the end. The next scripture is 2 Timothy chapter 4, verses 2 through 4, and it says, Preach the word, be ready in season and out of season. Reprove, rebuke, and exhort with complete patience and teaching. For the time is coming when people will not endure sound teaching, but have itching ears. Um, but having itching ears, they will accumulate for themselves teachers to suit their own passions, and will turn away from listening to the truth and wander off into myths. My final scripture that I'm going to cite um, is Titus chapter 3, verses 9 through 11, and it states, but avoid foolish controversies, genealogies, dissensions, and quarrels about the law, for they are unprofitable and worthless. As for a person who stirs up division, after warning him once and then twice, have nothing to do, have nothing more to do with him, knowing that such a person is warped and sinful. He is self-condemned. So after this video, I wash my hands of it. You know, I have nothing left to say. I've spoken my piece. If you choose not to listen. That's on you. Hopefully one day your eyes um, will be open to your own ways. Um, and actually you might be able to hold some of your own videos up as a mirror to yourself. So instead of looking at them as a good job, I really cracked that one. Um, take a moment and say, you know, let's analyze myself. Let's look at who I am and watch this video from that perspective. I strongly suggest that. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to read. Um, the message that I wrote and that will be the end of this and I'm gonna make a part two talking about the other person um, here's the message and the and the subject it says please read the whole message don't judge I'm sending this to you as a message and not a comment because I'm not trying to gain any public approval by saying this but here it goes I strongly advise that you start speaking to people in a more polite manner I believe that your sincere desire to inform the body of Christ about the deception that is taking place in these churches is being clouded by the pitbull manner in which you address your viewers. I'm not going to sit here and quote a whole bunch of scriptures because you made it clear that you know the Bible inside and out. I just want to say that perhaps you should um, watch some of your own videos as a mirror to be held up against yourself. I understand that it can be frustrating when people don't always get you or what you're trying to say, especially when it's imperative to their growth as an individual and as a member of the body of Christ. I'm learning every day to become less sarcastic and quick and quick witted because while I know that there is passion and concern behind my words, others might see the complete opposite. I've never been a sensitive or overly emotional person, so I can stomach confrontation well. In fact, you told me once that I lacked knowledge and was a fool for trying to correct something that you said in one of your videos. Not out of arrogance or ignorance, but out of love. Like I said, I'm not a sensitive person, so I was a little upset at the time, but quickly got over it. I also overcame my immediate response to unsubscribe and write you off as a person. The reality of the situation is that a lot of people are lost and are always going to be lost. However, don't assume that because someone disagrees with or has a question about something you say, that they're a lost cause. That is not necessarily the case, and only God determines who will remain lost and who will enter into his kingdom. I really have enjoyed watching some of your videos and learned a lot from them, so don't think that this is a personal attack. It's just very disheartening when I read a harsh comment made towards someone who might have been able to see what you were saying and where you were coming from with a little more compassion and understanding. If they don't get it after that, it's not your job to put them in their place. Just hit them with the nice God bless you and keep it moving. This is an approach that I've recently taken to dealing with conflict that one, allows me to stay relatively calm, two, hurts nobody, including myself, in the process, and three, doesn't cut off the bridge of communication with someone whom I might be able to bless in the future. I know this is a long message, but I hope you take the time to read it all the way through and don't just assume that it's another blind attack from an angry viewer. God bless and continue to come against the forces of evil with conviction and biblical understanding, but most importantly, with love. Take care. So, that's what I wrote. I don't think that was rude in any manner. And it actually, you know, reflects the scriptures that I just read. Um, 
so with that being said, I'm done. Um, I don't care about if someone wants to, you know, try to attack me after this. I stand by everything I do and say, and if I said it, I meant it. And that's that. Um, I'll be coming to you with a part two shortly, and I will talk to you all later. Take care, and God bless.